Okay, so I got a nail in my Camaro tire. This tire is $350 a piece. This is my rear nine and a half inch wide uh, 20 inch tire. So they're expensive, but pulling it off, you can see right there is our culprit. It's shiny in the light. I didn't have to get it wet to figure out I had a nail. That's it. I'm not gonna look elsewhere. That's that's the mofo that's been leaking my tire slow. So what I'm gonna do is use this little gadget. See the grooves on the end? How it's uh that takes this thing out, the valve stump. But before I do that, I need some pressure in there to pull that out. So I got these. Of those pliers, various different arrangements there, and then the trick is to get around that rubber onto that nail and pull it out. To do that, I need to make a little clearance. So I'm going to see see how that knife is. There it is. There, see that? Boom. That may not have been my culprit. That, and we'll get it in the tire again if I don't find it. Okay, there it is. I may or may not. This is a staple. Let's see. So I'm thinking twice. Is that a staple? No, that's a nail that bent over. I don't know if that's deep enough, though. It's going in my garbage, so I'll hit it again. Let's look for another one. There's a piece of metal there. That could be one. That's too close to the sidewall. A normal place won't pull that out. Let's see if I can get it. All right. I don't know if this is a big one or a little one. You can't tell by the... I think that was a little one. I don't think that was it. See, I'm not poking into the tire enough to do it damage. Yeah, I think that was just a metal shaving. Let's just keep looking. These are deceiving because they're just rocks. But just to be sure you can poke them out. Might have been the, the little bugger.